Fuck Target Con. Fuck Target Con. That's how we're starting this video. Welcome to another Mad Hatter review. Let me repeat. Fuck Target Con. So, um, for those of you that don't know, Funko, Target Con, they do this thing and they release shit on Target and then it lasts for three seconds and then it's gone and a bunch of people are pissed off. Um, that's the sum up for Target Con. Uh, this, uh, this year, they had a few items up there. I'm not going to go through all of them, but uh, the main ones uh, that I was trying to get were the Target Con Bullseye. This is a little doggy and he's got a little shirt. And then a Masters of the Universe Skeletor and Throne, and then Otto. Um, and uh, the, uh, the Target Con dog sold out in uh, 1.3 seconds. Um, the Skeletor and Throne I was able uh, to get sold out in like a minute. And then you had Otto sold out. I, don't I actually don't even think that's sold out. Um, um, I think that is still available. And, of course, you can get them in stores, but, you know, so a bunch of us woke up at 6 in the morning, and uh, from just the talk back, it looks like a bunch of people did miss out. Oh, and uh, another uh, fuck you is uh, from Target Con is that let's say you only want uh, one, one figure, I only want the auto, you know, or I only want the Skeletor or whatever, if uh, that uh, uh, figure is under $35, you get to pay for shipping. So your $9 auto figure becomes a, what, $15, $16 figure, which is, uh, which is also not fun. So uh, bonus points for that as well. I don't know why Target doesn't make more, especially of the ones that they know, or not Target, Funko, uh, especially the ones that they know are going to sell out. This happens every year. This happens every time. Um, and um, this is Funko's, this is this is just uh, the, more of the Funko madness, which is why I've, I've bought less and less Funko um, uh, over, over the last year. I have, uh, I have uh, uh, severely reduced my Funko intake. Um, and, you know, these shenanigans kind of wear on you. Speaking of shenanigans and Funko, so um, they have that ECCC 2021 uh, convention, online convention, obviously, that is coming out. And they have all these different exclusives. Now, the way to get that or the way to, to get that was to you had to opt into some kind of lottery and uh, or sorry, you had to be part of the Funko fan club or whatever. And then as a result of that, it was like a newsletter thing you would get a email saying, here, you can play the lottery. And if you win the lottery, you get into the Funko lottery for ECC 21 and, and you know, maybe can purchase some of their products. Um, I was part of that Funko fan club. I've done the lottery last year for New York Comic Con and San Diego Comic Con, but I never got the email. And I emailed Funko. I said, oh, this might just probably just an oversight. Hey, I never got your email, so um, can you resend it so I can just play into the lottery? And I got an email saying, basically, fuck you. Um, if you didn't get the email, that's tough shit. We just don't like you. So um, you're not going to be playing in the lottery this year. And that was it. There's no explanation. I'm part of the fan club. No email. Um, but um, who said, uh, ha, ha, you know, I may not have won the lottery anyway, but still, Big middle finger uh, to me, I guess. Fuck me. Um, but, I mean, the there were only three things that I did want. So, I'm not going to be too bent out of shape about it. Um, there was the uh, Mantana. Master of the Universe. Mantana Funko. Uh, that is going to be a shared exclusive. Though. Oh, a lot of these are going to be shared later. So, you'll be able to get them. So, Mantana will be shared. Um, but the two that I did want besides him are not shared. They are show-only exclusives. I, I, I can only imagine if you're not into Funko, you are like, you are boring the shit out of me. I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I don't mean to, but I'm just go. I'm just taking you on the journey. So anyway, the two, the other two that I wanted were show-only exclusives. Uh, one was the Ogre from Gummy Bears. And that is going to be limited to like 2,000 pieces or something. So that's going to go fast and be Flipper City, of course. Uh, but I did want to get that because I grew up with gummy bears bouncing here and there and everywhere and drinking gummy berry juice. And that's the villain or one of the villains. And I wanted to get that. But fuck me. And then the other fuck me 
is uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean. Skeleton on the pile of gold. That one is fucking awesome. That's also limited. So I uh, will not be getting that uh, either because that will also be Flipper's Paradise. Um, so that is, uh, that's my Funko uh, journey for the week. Um, and then I was just looking on just some of the new releases. Uh, one thing I did want to talk about are I'm a big Masters of the Universe fan. Um, I have, uh, I pretty much went all in on those Masters of the Universe classics. I dip my toe into Origins. I just don't love them as much. So I'm probably not going to go crazy. But um, they are releasing, I guess, Master of the Universe are releasing, this is, this confused the shit out of me. They have two cartoons that are coming out. They have um, um, a, I guess, like a more kid-friendly cartoon. And then they have, and I think that one is Netflix. I think actually both of these are Netflix. And then they have a, Another one that's, I guess, more geared to the older fans, and that's uh, um, led up by Kevin Smith, and and that's like a continuation of the Filmation um, um, series, I guess. Uh, so, and they are releasing action figures for these lines, and I kind of wanted to just go through the different lines. So they have this image of the first line. This is the... This is the more, um, this is the one for, I guess, for the, the, the kid-oriented one. And um, just taking a look at this image right here of He-Man on Battle Cat, for me, I took a sigh of relief because I was like, money saved. Because I do not like this He-Man on Battle Cat. I, 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 I mean, there is, it's funny, like, the first thing that popped, into my mind when I saw this was, uh, I don't know if anybody played Warcraft, but um, there was a mount that I used to obsess over that I could never get from an instance called Zulgarub. I know I sound like a fucking nerd right now, but it was like a tiger mount and it had, it looked just like this and it had armor like this. And uh, it, it instantly, I instantly was uh, just thinking of that. Um, and just this style felt like something Warcraft-ish. Um, I mean, I'll break down my thoughts on it. His head is almost microscopic, um, which I don't love. It's it, like, it's the tiniest fucking head. I get that it's stylized. I get all that. But super tiny head. I don't know. The armor is weird. The sword is so over-designed that it's like, I don't even know where to look. It's just like, I, I, yeah, I don't know. Um, and... Uh, I just don't love this He-Man. Uh, it, it reminds me a little bit of that the 2003 uh, uh, re-release series of He-Man when they do the the, the, the more sort of uh, uh, anime-inspired uh, cartoon. It has elements of that, but it's just so overly designed and heavily, heavily stylized. I like me some stylization. I just don't like when they just turn it up to 10 like that. So... Um, and then Battle Cat is just, his proportions, first off, are fucking weird. Um, I, it might be the angle, but like just the super skinny, um, just how skinny he is towards the back. He's just bulky in the front, skinny in the back. He's got skinny back legs. His tail's weird. And uh, just the sporadic armor with the, I, I just, it's, it's going to be a no for me. Um, so, uh so yeah, I, I, uh, but you know, if kids love this, I think this is aimed for kids. It's not aimed for, for me. It's aimed for the future, even though I'm kind of the future too. You know what I mean? I still got some juice left in me. So, you know, I, I got to like this too. Uh, but no, it's, it's, uh, it's, it, this is a kid's thing. So I'm not going to shit on it too hard, but, um, if it looks like this, I'm not going to be getting it. Um, anyway, to the next, so so this next uh, um, uh, piece. So this is the uh, the Kevin Smith series. I, I think I th I'm so fucking confused. There's like so many different series, and now it's or so. There's gonna be by the way. There's gonna be three Masters of the Universe series out on shelves. There's gonna be uh, the Origins, which are already out on shelves, which they are fucking blasting through. There's like you know like 200 figures already for that line. And um, not literally, but there's a bunch. And then you got that kitty one. And then you got this one uh, right here. Um, so 
I mean, I guess that's good. I, I, I hope that, that they, they do. Look, if Masters of the Universe does well, it's good for everybody, whether I like this line or you like this line or whatever. So I, I, I'm, I'm hoping that if they kind of splash this out, people, they get some new fans, they get some bring back the old fans and all that good shit. But anyway, I digress. Um, so just going into this, this line looks better. And I don't say that just because it's like the classic, more, you know, leaning more to the classic version. I just think they look a little better. I guess this this was part of, by the way, like a showcase that they did for like Mattel or some shit. I should, I, I should, uh, I should have probably read up on it. But it was like some, some kind of showcase, like investor showcase, yada, yada, yada. And that's when this whole thing came up. Um... And, and uh, so they only have this one image, and it's not a great image. Um, you know, you can't, uh, uh, it's, it's just the quality on it. But anyway, let's just try to dive in. So the Skeletor, first of all, uh, looks, uh, I mean, he looks decent. Um, his face looks, from what I can see, okay. He's, he's got a grinning face. He's got the Havoc staff. He's got that other staff that I, I, I'm forgetting. Was it Shapeshift? I'm, I'm forgetting the name of the other staff, but he's got the other staff. He's got some some stop hands, which are that's strange. Stop or my mom will shoot. Um, and um, and then he's got just his grabbing hands um, and uh, looks like a cloth cape. These do look to be more articulated than some of the other Masters of the Universe incarnations, which is cool. Um, I do like the 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 loin the 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 the, the loincloth piece uh, on Skeletor. There, there's some nice stuff about this. So, but I, I I just need to see more more picks. I mean, this is the only, again, this is sort of like the teaser pick that they released. Um, so I am curious about that. If it looks if if it's decent, I'll I'll, I'll pick that Skeletor up. Uh, then you have He Man um, on Battle Cat. This is a weird angle for that Battle Cat because like it looks like he's like he could be cool but then i don't know just the way they position his his shoulders and stuff it looks i it's 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 strange it's like i, I just i he looks like he will be more articulated than some of the other ones and like the origins but um uh i do want to see more pictures of that i do like that his armor is kind of like um obviously influenced by the older uh battle cat armor um but uh still tough to say but it does look promising uh, the He-Man on top of him um, looks promising, too. He's got uh, the H. He's rocking the H on his chest, which, um, you know, the battle armor ones do. And um, same kind of articulation. The sword looks really small in his hand. Like, the hilt, look, it just does not look good. Maybe it's just, uh, again, this might be a prototype or the way he's, he's holding it. But, like, looks kind of clunky. Don't love the sword in his hand. The He-Man face. Uh, again, tough to tell with these picks. From what I'm seeing, I don't love it. He looks like he looks like he's like a little like nervous or something. I, I don't know. It's not um, the, the glimpse I'm getting from his face is just okay. Um, but I, I do like the form. I do like what looks like. Um, uh, better articulation. So if this if this ends up looking good, I will uh, I'll pick that one up too. And um, uh, and then the last is um, and I have to do a double take to even know who this was is Evil Lynn I guess. Evil Lynn's got some new digs. Um, no more um, what's it called leotard. Um, as she has uh, um, traded that in to be part of the Airbender series I guess. Um, I don't know. I, I maybe I'm too much of a traditionalist, um, or I would have liked some kind of influence just to know that this is fucking Evil Lynn. But this is, I guess, this is like nomadic Evil Lynn or something. She, it almost feels like she went out. She went out on her own, and maybe she did. I don't know. But um, first off, she's got long hair. That always uh, that, that that threw me. Um, long white hair. Evil Lynn's always had the white hair, but long white hair was a little. Uh, a little strange. Um, not you know. I, I'm not. I am not uh, opposed to the change. Um, I just. It's it's. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'll pick this one up. Um, 
I do like that they're trying new things. Uh, so you do get, though, the traditional evil Lin head. And maybe once I see that head on the body, maybe it'll it'll just sort of become okay. But it does look like sort of like an airbender, kind of like nomadic um, Legend of Zelda uh, 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 um, uh, attempt on it. So not sure about the evil Lin. Um and uh, so that's it. I don't know. I, I, uh, I, I'm still on the fence on this Master of the Universe line. God knows I don't need any more Master of the Universe figure. So um, if, if it's not, if I'm not loving it, I can, uh, I can, uh, uh, I'll gladly pull the ejector seat. And then what else? Um, uh, Star Wars fans, uh, I did get an email for this uh, Star Wars Black Series Wrecker. Um, this is cool. I'm not, I, I, I don't collect Star Wars anymore, but if I did, I would be in for this. Uh, this is just a solid figure. Um, I, I just, uh, I, again, this is from, or not again, this is from, uh, um, was it the Bad Batch? I guess the, 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 the new series, this, that's, uh, the new series that's coming out. And you could pre order it on Hasbro. Oh, well, you can't pre order on Hasbro anymore, but I think you can, uh, you can pre order it on a Big Bad Toy Store. And, um, you can get it that way. They also have the uh, Black Series First Order Stormtrooper electronic helmet. If you want, uh, if you're a helmet guy, you can get that too. Um, the Black Series is nice. I just, I, I cannot dive into Star Wars again. It's like, I, I'm, I'm like a, you, you know, it's like a, a Alcoholics Anonymous where it's just like, you can't take a drink. I feel that way about Star Wars. I used to be so all in on it and um it's like just never ending and i just i i, I just uh i just had to quit all that uh cold turkey <laughs> so um but if you are a fan of that you can get your uh your star wars black series uh fix um and yeah i just i just noticed you can you could still get it at uh, big bad toy store pre-order it for i think the same price or maybe five dollars more um and then what else i think that's it um so yeah that's it for toy oh the other thing is um i know that um um uh, you guys had ordered the spawn mcfarland figure i ordered the the one that they did in kickstarter where it like raised like two million three million dollars or something for it um so i just got a shipping notification that that's coming in so i'll do a review of that too i'm really excited for that i haven't had a spawn figure since i was a little kid um uh, uh since the the fucking 90s um so i'm excited to get a new one in my hand and see if uh see if that is a one-off or if i'm gonna get into that line but that is it um that's all for uh this toy news um let me know what you think about this comment subscribe uh any of this stuff exciting to you and um and that's it we will see you next time Bye bye